Welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Veteran Walkthrough Part 4. So in this mission, we're literally just going to fight pure uh, bots. So like I said, like I mentioned before, uh, energy weapons do really good damage against the uh, the bots. So let's go with uh, the Volk. Uh, this is my recommendation. Go with the Volk, Elo Sight, Foregrip, and then the Fusion Mag. Same thing with the E-Rad, Elo, Foregrip, and the Fusion Mag. Again, these you can kind of, you know... Choose whichever one you feel better with, but the ones that I really recommend, like this is exactly what I really, really, really recommend. Uh, the ATAD's gonna help you out, like in the second fight, which you'll see later on. The hacking devices again, because remember, we're, we're, we're fighting against pure robots. The shock grenades help out a ton, and then you'll see how the anti gravity grenades actually help out a lot. So, yes, uh, weapons really try to choose energy weapons, but really, whatever you want. But I really recommend these uh, two tacticals and two lethals. So let's, let's move on. So we're back. Just in case, if you get lost in this part, uh, just follow me. Basically, as soon as you enter it, take a left, take a hard right, take another right. And then we're just going to go straight this way. So yeah, catch you later. Rescue. All right, so we're back in this spot right here. Um, there is an easy way to do this. There is like a little uh, shock charge right there. Look at you see that little tank right there, kind of right here. It's like just shoot that, okay? Don't waste your uh, energies or your grenades, anything. Just like that. That's simple, okay? So remember, it's right there. In case if you didn't see it, just shoot that tank right there. Uh, the more you get forward, there there are some more actually, like right there. So just wait for them to spawn. Just that simple, okay? Don't don't try shooting them. Don't waste your energy or your grenade, should I say? And then just after that, just shoot them. Stay as far as possible back as you can. Shoot these. And yes, that is it for the first fight. Shortly right after that one is what I, what I like to call the second uh, fight. It is the one that's a little more harder, but for, for this, just uh, use both of your uh, quad AT, ATADs because there's two other ones right here. And yes, they actually really help out. So, so just uh, make sure you use these. Uh, try to stay back this way. And you should have no problem. Oh. You should have no problem shooting these guys. Like that, okay. So, we're just gonna move over here, and then right here in this spot, uh, basically, there's, uh, ammo, ev oh, damn, my Volk got messed up, okay. So, there is, uh, there is, uh, anti-grabs all over. There's one there, there's another one there, like, right here. And another so those are gonna be your best friends, okay? So obviously mistake mistakenly I uh I ended up picking up uh or dropping my Volk, so I guess the E-Red will do. So this is what you really wanna do, okay? Check both sides because they are gonna come both sides. Okay, and then once your uh, your A tads are gone, just make sure you use them again. That's it. And just stay back here, okay? Don't don't do anything crazy. That's all you really need. Okay, nothing too crazy, like I said. Remember, there are some here in case if you need them. This part was actually really hard on uh, on regular, so I thought maybe we were gonna have a lot of trouble, but it's actually very simple. So yeah, just stay here. Throw uh, the anti grabs on the sides when there's a bunch of them coming. Uh, 
And this should really be it. Hmm. I'm actually running out of ammo, am I not? Oops. So again, just throw another one, and that should be it. Hopefully, you do have better luck with the guns, because obviously I, I had some trouble, but you should be good. Like that should be it. Oh. Okay, we should be good. And you know, just in case if you do get uh, outran like that, just uh, just make sure you run around a little, but shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and another tip that I'm I'm gonna give you guys is uh, make sure you guys pick up this this weapon right here. Okay, the the F Spark Torch. You'll see how helpful it is. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is what I consider the hardest part of this whole mission. Uh, you will spawn through there and then two uh, bots will pop out. I actually killed them, so nothing too bad. But this is where you really want to use your uh, your hacking devices, okay? So this is another part that I hate about this game. This is really where they just start to really spawn, you know? Like... Uh, this isn't okay so there are snipers uh, and i got stuck so there are snipers here so you got to be careful with them but th the thing that i hate about this uh mission is that 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 they just keep on spawning okay that is what's really annoying so what you want to do is try to hack this guy at least you know get the sniper out of the way Right? Shoot that guy. Um. This guy really helps out a lot. There will be another wave that spawns. So just wait for them to show up real quick. That's another sniper. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Just keep on doing this. And, uh. So it looks like we are safe. So basically, we're just gonna run through here, okay? This is what we're gonna do. And then. I guess this is where it just takes luck. So. We're going to try to run through here and just hope that, uh, that we can just make it through here. Uh, remember, if this doesn't work for you the first time, you know, uh, always careful here. There's always a couple that always spawn here. And uh, if that doesn't work for you, oh, and then there's two more. Uh, just uh, keep on trying it, okay? So as you saw, that actually took me one, one try. So it's actually not that bad. Let's move on. Uh, but before I do actually, uh, just make sure, you know, just repetition is a key. If, if it doesn't work one time, just keep on trying it. And then eventually, if you did it so many times, it doesn't work, then that's when you want to try something else. But as you saw, I did it really easy. So, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kill these guys real quick. Uh, make sure you hack these guys right here. Whoa, why isn't it going? Okay, hack these guys. Okay. We're just gonna hack these. Use it once again. Oh. This, apparently this guy did not like that. So let's hack this guy. Uh, apparently that's not working. Okay. So we're just gonna use charges. That's really all we gotta do, okay? That simple. And then we'll uh, you could melee? That's, you know. And then just, after this, just, just shoot him. And just, you know, make sure you move around. This is really all you gotta do. Throw in another one there. And that's really it, guys. 
Uh, after this, just use the torch gun. Or if you want to use it even before that. This gun is really good. Like, that's really it. So, yeah. That is it for this mission. Thank you. So, for the next mission, which is the one where we go back into Earth, it's going to be dark again. So, what I do recommend is using a sniper, which are one year better. Well, you know, it could be either one of these two. I prefer this one. Again, we're going to go with thermal because it's at night. Um, I'm using ballistic CPU and stasis because it basically reduces sway, which I'm kind of horrible. So, yeah. Um, secondary, I'm using the ERAD just because I'm comfortable with it. And, uh, yeah, it's a really good one. For the tacticals, I'm using the retractable shield and the foam wall. I think, and honestly, in these, you can use whatever you want. Uh, again, in lethal, I'm using a shock charge and an anti-grab. So, yeah, we'll see how we do. But that is my setup, my setup class. So, your choice, but this is my recommendation. So, yeah, let's, let's move on. So... Okay, so this is really where the first uh, things happen. I might show like everything because uh, this mission will prob probably take a while. Okay, because yes, it is long, but there is one guy that will spawn right here. So, I mean, if, if you can shoot him through here, might, might as well just do it now. And then that should be it. Raya should just pass through that right now. He should shoot you, but that's about it. Um, There are about... Okay, so... This is where there's going to be two of them right here. So one guy's going to pop out right here. I mean, if, if you ain't good with the sniper, it's okay. I'm horrible myself. So, yeah, he's right there. I believe there should be someone here. Yep. And there is one guy somewhere back there. I don't know if it's down here or on top. I feel like it's on top. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, careful. And yeah, like I said, this, this video might take a while. Uh, apparently there's another guy. So, oh, and another guy. I apologize for that. Okay, so, let's move on. Like I said, this one, I might, uh, just keep it like this. Just show you everything, because this one is pretty hard. Okay, so there are two guys down here. Like I said, uh, don't worry about if you're missing a bunch of shots. And like I said, just, uh, sorry I'm saying a lot of that. But uh, take your time on this, because there are enemies like around every corner. And we're missing horrible. Alright. Yay. And yes, yeah, so there, there's only two guys here. Move on. There are about like four, four guys in this one, so just stay back. Don't charge too much. As you can see, there's one there. I don't think we can shoot him, can we? Yes, we can actually. So if you can shoot him from under here, that'd be great. If not, don't worry about it. There are a couple that will pop out right now. Oh wait, there is one guy, a, a sniper up top. So usually there. There's another guy here. Let's see who we can take down. We can take down this guy. Careful, he threw his uh, anti-grab. I think he missed us. Now let's move up a little closer. And yes, yeah, my tip for this is just take it, e take it easy and slow, slow it down. Play at your pace, not theirs. Okay, um, try not to actually... Oh. Careful. Okay, so there will be a guy there. I know it's a little... Off, but yes. Um, there are about like four guys here. Or so. Careful with the grenades, oh. There won't be anyone this way, so just focus this way straight. Remember, just uh, try to shoot from the chest and up, and it, they should be one hits all the time. Always check uh, on top as well.
see and then this is why I say thermal is actually very helpful because you can see exactly where they're at especially since, since it's dark okay so there are a couple down here Will they pop out right now probably not So there are some frags. So as you can see, there's no one there anymore. There's there's someone in, in the back over there. So I'm just gonna move a little slowly, careful, cause like I said, always check your corner slowly and check on top and stuff. Oops. Always check. Wow, I take a lot longer than I anticipated, but that is okay, I don't think we can shoot this guy, but I do believe uh, there's some ammo here, so I'll always pick him up, trust me, um, okay, who's shooting this? It's actually really hard to see who is shooting this. see who is shooting us? No, nope, not yet. Okay, uh, when you do approach, uh, you know, when you do move up a lot faster, um, make sure you go in with the, your secondary gun you got, okay? You don't want to get caught with your pants down, you know, basically with a sniper. Take cover, like I said, don't Use what you can. We'll see a couple guys here, so expect that at least. Um, at this time, it, if you feel comfortable using grenades, by, by all means. I'm just not much of a grenade person myself, so... This is what I roll with, you know. I prefer my guns. But I mean, if you're used to it, then by all means, go for it. Don't, don't just think that you know, just because I don't use them doesn't mean you don't need them. Uh, just, uh, I don't really like using them too much. Only if I have to. Whoa, okay, so someone popped out, you know, I'll always check out, I mean, I'll leave it at this, doesn't matter, but, uh, yeah, just so that you can see, you know, that things will happen, huh, wonder why he did not die. Wait for that to explode. There are about like three guys over here. So do keep that in mind. I think there's another guy here. Should we check down there? Maybe. Yep. There actually are a couple of them. There's some more over here. Awesome. Let's see, where is he shooting us from? He's shooting us from there. Let him pop that. Oh, okay. It looks like there's someone else over here. Alright. So, yeah, always check, you know. There's those two. Shouldn't be anyone on top right now. And just oh damn! So just move up little by little. As you as you saw right there, we saw someone on top. Take cover, don't approach, and yeah, it looks like we're safe. Oh, there was someone over there. Hmm. 
so that's okay. Just get 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 better positioning. That's all. See how uh, helpful uh, checkpoints are. Literally, checkpoints are the best things you can ask for. Because this is how helpful they are. Always, when you go upstairs, always be careful because there's always some bastard. Always somewhere around there. Okay, so this is where you want to take out your sniper. And let's see, there will be someone, I think, right there that spawns with a rocket launcher. So, might want to be careful with that. There is like a sniper here, so. Yep, there's a rocket guy. Oh. I guess this is where the foam wall comes in handy. Just, these are right there. There's another one right there. And just shoot away. I wonder if we can hack him, you know? There are a couple guys down here too, so don't just think just because these guys are down, that's it. Okay, as you, as you can see that flashlight, there is someone there. You know, always look for like little key details. Wow, I should have gotten that one, shouldn't I have? So yeah, like I said, I'm not the best uh, when it comes to uh, snipers, so don't feel too bad. Okay, just making sure. Pick up some of the ammo. And let's move on. Oh, there's someone over there. But that is okay. We don't need to fight him, so... That is pretty dumb. Take it slow. Okay, this is where you want to use your sniper again. There are two dudes right there. And apparently there's one on top as well. There should... Whoa. Okay, who's shooting us now? Oh, we saw him. This is what I say... This is why I say thermal is a really, really... Necessity of, uh... Uh, a good uh, attachment I have so clearly we saw two remember just always peek out you know just gain some information That's... as we can see that there's someone there we can't really shoot him but Oof, I got lucky in that shot. Don't really do that. Okay, there's still someone there. Oh, run back. There are two guys down here, so... Yep, let's see. Oh, there's another one right there. Again, just take it slow. I do still think there's someone there, so... Oh, it's Raya, huh? Well, the more you know. There is a, uh, ammo here, so make sure you use it just in case. So yeah, um, these things aren't necessarily the hardest. It just play it slow. Uh, right here is where you really want to go slow. This is the part that kind of always gives me trouble. We could use a foam wall if we want. But keep in mind that they do actually run out pretty... Or not pretty e easy, but they do run out, so... Oh, damn. I'm surprised this guy didn't shoot us. So, yeah. Always uh, keep a lookout for those. I do believe there's someone there. Or oh, there's two, three. 
Let's use one of these, why not? Alright. Did I not kill the other ones or what happened? Okay, so what I like to do here is I like to go this way. And there are two guys right there. Okay, and another one will actually pop out through through the door, so keep that in mind. You could use grenades here as well. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we're gonna go forward, and as soon as we take a right, there should be a guy right there, and then another one behind him. So, yep. And then we're gonna take a right, right there, and then there, there will be a guy popping out. So get ready to aim, just like that. Okay. It's, it's all about repetition and everything. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So in this part, as soon as you step up, up there, someone's gonna throw a grenade. So if you want to ho uh, hold it, by all means, and then, and then just use it against him, or don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, Again, we'll do this part. There's one guy there, just in case if you die by any chance. Pop out. Again, there's gonna be another guy here. Ready to shoot, easy. Ah, we actually saw him. No! Okay, we're having issues. That is perfectly fine. See, that's the hardest part about, uh, the damn grenades. Never really know if, uh, We're out of time. Guys are coming. Or they threw it, I guess. I usually like to pick it up, but, uh, see, cause they're, they're just gonna keep on throwing them. That's the, or there's only two, okay, so there will be only two. There is this guy right here, okay. So the guy that pops out, all right, now we know. Just always be ready for the unexpected. Just always uh, keep on going with your, with your, uh, while you're aiming down your sight. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, this part right here also. Let's see, what do we have here? Frags. There's that. Oh. Okay, so this part can be a little hard right here as well. Uh, they're gonna knock it down. That's perfectly fine. Uh, what you what, what you do want to use is watch. Throw some shock charges. And okay, so you're you're not always gonna kill them like that, but you know that part is kind of why you got the shield. So you, you can throw one of your stuns or whatever you got, and then that's when as soon as you jump here, just, you can just uh, pop it up like this, hide here, and then just pick them off. There are three guys, just in case if you die. There will be another one here. So just keep that in mind. And then this part is the one that is pretty annoying. So there will be a guy going up there. And there is some guy on top. So you, you do want to keep that in mind. This guy will probably get you. And I think we are safe for just for now. Oh, and I believe this is where uh, Raya is at. Right here. So, yeah. Uh, see you in the next part. Okay, so we are back now in the Olympus. So, the first part here, you want to take out your E-Rad or your Shock, wherever you took out. Hopefully, you got an E-Rad, because I think it's very helpful. So, or the Sniper, of course, if you're really that confident in it. And uh, yeah, there will be multiple dudes here, so just take it easy. Uh, this is where you want to use your sniper, because there are a couple. Oops. Take cover, of course. 
One ahead glitch so that they don't get you. And uh, just move in little by little. Damn. They happen to be there. Okay, make sure you reload all your weapons, trust me. You do not know how many times that's been annoying. Let's see. Anti grabs again, okay, we're good. I know guys, I'm sorry. I take way too long when it comes to sniping. Or just I guess use this uh the spot to uh get them, you know. Who else is left? Who else is left? And this is the part where we are gonna fight the C12, which is the giant robot, of course. Um, do we really want to choose this now? We could, I guess. No, actually, we don't. Not j not yet, because there are some guys that will spawn pretty far. So, oh, shock charges, cool. We'll take some of those. Okay, so there will be a couple guys that spawn there. Oh. So, I guess you want to, you know. We should be okay, hopefully, with this grenade. Yep. I mean, you could back off a little if you want. You don't have to go crazy in there. And then just pick them off from here. I believe there's someone here, which is what they're trying to shoot. Alright, so I'm attempting this again because uh, this thing is actually being pretty stupid on me now. So, there is two guys that will spawn well, on top of these uh, crates. There's that guy and then this guy. You use your uh, sniper to take these guys out, of course. And, uh... For this part, what I want you to do is uh, have your shock chargers ready. So we're, we're going to throw some there and then one in the back over there because we want them to be gone so that we can shoot the... Uh... Okay, shoot, shoot the minigun. I don't really know why, but that part is the one that really... Okay, so run up to it like that, but make sure you have the E-Rad ready. And then you'll see why right now. So that we can shoot him in the back again. And then just run back as fast as you can, take some cover. And uh... This should really be it. Yep. And again, um... Yeah, we'll let this play out again quickly. Or, you know what? I'll be right back. Good. So after the cutscene, we will be right here. Uh, this part really won't be the hardest. Use some sock charges if you want to. Nothing too crazy. Um, shoot some anti-grabs over there just in case. Like I said, this is really where you just want to waste all your grenades, really. Just because you're, you're basically done. So... Yeah, if you want to, there you go. Nothing crazy. Just finish off what you can. And, uh, yeah. This should be it, really. Just finish off whatever's left. Like I said, boom, boom. Nothing too hard. Is there this guy? Nope, machine. 
Okay, so when we blow this up, there are going to be four little spider seekers coming at you. So just be aware of that. I think the third one, or the last one might actually, or not. Okay, cool. So get the hacking charges. And then use it right here. There's a bot right there. Uh, you don't have to fight anyone. Just, uh, just make it way towards Koch. That's it. Don't kill anyone. You don't have to. Just make sure you jump and make sure you come to this guy and then you shank him, I guess, or hit him, and then that uh, just self-destruct, and then that really should be it. And yeah, that is the end of this mission. So thank you. If you enjoyed the video and if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.